And here's Dolly Roger coming at you again with the Dirt Lord. Give special thanks to him for making this possible. We're coming to you from an undisclosed location in Bruce Campbell's backyard. And we're putting the truth out there for the people because that's what it's all about. And tonight we're going to come at you in the churches there. Not coming after the people, but I am going to come after the pastors. I'm coming after the preachers again. Because you're the ones who are responsible for your people. And I'm going to pick on Christians a lot more than the other religions. Mainly because I was raised in that environment. And I do believe that there was some inspiration to the Bible. And I do believe that there's a higher power. I'm not going to get into it any further than that because it's my personal beliefs. But I am going to point out some of the things that I think are wrong in the church today. One of the number one things, of course, is the continual schisming of the churches. Nowhere did I ever see that, you know, churches are supposed to schism into a whole bunch of different groups and all argue. That was not what the entire basis of Christianity or Judaism was about. It was not about forming little groups. Even, even in the New Testament, Jesus himself said to cast away the temple. You don't need it. All you need is a group of people to get together and God will choose who he wants to speak amongst that group. You've not done this. You go and you go to seminary and I and I, I went to a private school that was a Christian school and, and taken some seminary work in it so I know what's going on there. It's a job. You're going there, you're doing this to make money. Admit it, but quit trying to deceive the people. If you're gonna if you're gonna get up there, at least tell them what's in the book. Don't tell them something you just made off the top of your head. You need to know what your own book says. I've said this before, and, and, and I like to, to get back on this subject because number one, you're breaking a Ten Commandment. You're lying to the people every time you tell them something that's not real. You give them a couple verses and base an entire sermon off a couple verses and make up everything that you want. Where's the church doing what it's supposed to? And I use that term very loosely because when I say church, I need the body of everybody who's a Christian. Every person who's a Christian should take responsibility to follow what they believe. Just as the Muslims should all come together and follow what their book teaches. All religions need to take responsibility to bring the people together. However, though, Christianity does very, is very specific in, in the Bible where it does mention several things of how you should do it continually sucking the money from the people. That is not what God said. God said, well, actually Jesus, if you want to be technical, said, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and render unto the Lord what is the Lord's. Well, that doesn't mean give it to some fat cat who's buying a thousand dollar Armani suit who's a preacher. The whole object idea of churches is wrong, according to the book of the Bible. If you want to follow the Bible, you need to do some research into it. You don't need to go to some place and beg somebody to tell you a message. Read it for yourself. You're not intelligent enough to read a book. You want a fellowship? Get together with a few of your closest friends. That's what, it, that's what it's supposed to be. Where two or more of you are gathered. That's where I'm at. He's not in that building. And he's not going to be in that building if the words are not what is coming out of the book. If you're going to claim to be a Christian and you're going to want to see things done and see works and such, you're going about it all wrong. You're giving money to a church that most of the money is going to the to maintenance and the pastor. There's nothing wrong with the pastor getting money, but if you do it the way it's intended, it helps more people out. Nobody out there is doing enough to help people. There are starving people. There are homeless people. There are children who need shelters there are women who need shelters you are all failing in as human beings not just as Christians Christians you are failing as human beings you are not being ethically moral to your fellow human beings uh, I'm going to insult anybody who will not help out a, a human being that when they can I've seen some churches around here do some wonderful things but I've seen a lot of them who do nothing or they give a little bit to one of these organizations who lets a board of people decide who's righteous enough to get it. God didn't say to help the righteous. God didn't say to help the, you know, this person or that person. And I use God because that's what you all refer to. Everyone that's a Christian refers to as God. When very clearly the Bible said, call him Father or Lord. Jesus didn't say call him God. He said call him Father. He always referred to himself as Father or Lord. Uh, Eli, which means a Lord or High One or can be used as reference to a great father. You take the 10% which is asked, if you give that, it doesn't matter if you give it to your church. I suggest 
take that 10%, find a family that's homeless, help them. Pastors, you are not doing your job. You have strayed. I would say safely right now that most pastors in this country are exactly where it talks about in the New Testament that many will come in my name and deceive.